the sample size with these lineups has gotten a little bit bigger. What are the things you're liking and not liking about what you're seeing? Oh, I, I think we're doing a good job. Uh, I think we're doing a good job basically in everything we're doing except the turnovers. The turnovers is, uh, you know, it's been kind of our Achilles, Achilles heel. You know, we're uh, putting ourselves in a position where uh, we're trying to defend live turnovers and uh, it just doesn't work out very good in this league. But I think our ball movement, uh, I think we're doing a better job of understanding, uh, you know, the dynamics between like, uh, you know, Zion and B.I. and uh, Zion and the other guys where he wants the ball and things like that. We still got to remember that he's played less than 10 NBA games. So uh, it's still a learning process for us. But I think our guys are, are doing a good job of uh, uh, just trying to make it work and, uh, you know, creating chemistry and and uh, understanding, you know, ball movement and, and uh, cuts and people movement. How is he adjusted to everybody here? Well, the only thing he got going for him is this kind of been the, you know, this kind of been as normal for you know the last you know two or three years really since his high school days. So uh, he's accustomed to that. He's a really bright kid and uh, understands you know the dynamic of the media. So uh, it's not anything that's intimidating to him. I don't think you know. Uh, if you ask him if he wanted to do it every day, I'm pretty sure he would say no. But I think he understands, you know, that this is part of it. He was on the head of toe yesterday. He was on the injury report. He was off the injury report. You have to, to watch him at He's all fine. Time. He's fine. Okay. You know, Tom Brady was fine. You know. I think Tom was on there every week, right? He was. Okay. Well, I think he's fine. It was just something that popped up after the last game? Uh, he's fine. Okay. I mean, I it's, it's not even open for discussion. It's not anything. Okay. Elvin, the, 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 the Bulls here talk a lot about the rebuild and what stage they are in this rebuild. Does you, Do your young guys talk about this thing as a rebuild that you're doing, do they talk about as just young guys that are kind of up and coming and excited? I mean, what's the context of, of how this thing's looking? Uh, we've, we've never talked about rebuild. You know, the only thing that we've talked about is taking our team and uh, trying to have them play at the highest level that they possibly can play. Uh, you know, we got, I think we got a good young players and uh, obviously uh, experience become really important in those situations right there and uh, the, the more they play together the, the more comfortable they feel with each other and the more they play together the more experience they'll have as, as far as the NBA and, and how it operates. Yeah, what, what do you notice? What do you no. Know? Go ahead. We, we were together once. Okay. Um, you mentioned B.I. What have you liked about how he's progressed this season? Oh, I think the thing with B.I. is that, uh, you know, he's put in the work. He's put in a lot, a lot of work, you know, from the time, you know, he got released medically to be able to get on the court. Uh, you know, he's worked on his three-point shooting. Uh, you know, he's worked on his ball handling, uh, free throw shooting, all of those things he's gotten better at and continue to work on defense because the one thing that we keep uh, – emphasizing to him that with this length and uh, the way he can move his feet that he should be, you know, he should be a really a top defensive player in this league and that's the area where he'll continue to work and get better. All right, I'm sorry to cut you off. No problem. <laughs> I, I always defer to Layla. <laughs> Zion's making his first regular season stops in all these arenas. What do you notice about the energy inside the, the, the you know, when he's on the road for the first time? You know, it's just different, you know. I mean, I've been around a lot of guys, you know, obviously with, you know, Steph in that group at Golden State and, you know, uh, Blake in that group and, you know, and, I mean, even David Robinson and guys like that, he just it's just a different vibe altogether with him, you know. I think they can relate to him, you know. He's a 19-year-old, and, you know, most of the kids are, you know, his age and stuff that, that wants to come and see him. And uh, uh, and he's just a real personable guy, you know. He, he, he's that, and, uh, you know, he, he, he's, he plays, you know, the excitement that he plays with and the plays that he can make, I think, you know, people enjoy seeing. So, uh, you know, it's just kind of who he is, really. I can't explain it, though. I really can't. I mean, it really is a phenomenon. I mean, that uh, every city, everything, we get to a hotel at 3 in the morning and, you know, there's 25, 50 people out there, you know, that, that wants, you know, autographs or whatever. So, uh, But he's handled it well. He really has done a good job of handling it. Player-wise, who, who do you compare him to? Maybe? No one. <laughs> no, really, really. I'm not. I'm, when I say that, everybody says Charles Barkley or this guy right here. But you know, I, I just think he's just he's, he's all together, just 
a different player, you know, than than any anyone. And I'm sure if he could be compared to Charles, he would like that. But Charles was a great player. But uh, he's just his own guy, and I think uh, he he'll tell you that himself that he just want to be the best Zion. Are you, are you concerned at all that he can play at his size in the NBA level? Handle the durability of 82 nights. Uh, I don't know why he wouldn't be able to do that. You know, uh, you know he's he, first of all he's just coming back. You know, and he's he's played I guess seven eight NBA games. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to be in midseason form that have played seven eight NBA games. But I mean, I'm fine with where he is and and what he's doing. And I think you know you guys got to look past this thing that everybody talks about. You know, is you know his durability because of uh, the size that he is or whatever. He's going to be fine. And, you said it's just a couple of games. How exciting is this for you, though, to work with a player like him to see the potential? Oh, I think, I, you know, you, 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 you know, you get a, a situation, you know, where you coach a player of that nature that could be a generational player. I mean, you know, uh, I think, you know, you get really lucky, and then we get extremely lucky in the fact that he's just so coachable, you know, and he wants to learn and he wants to be a great player. So uh, he's willing to listen and he's willing to, uh, to listen to the veteran players on our team. You know, I think J.J. and Drew and, you know, even uh, Faze have been, you know, uh, been there and, and have talked to him about certain situations. And uh, uh, as I said, you know, the, the night that we were here and, and – uh, won the lottery, although we couldn't say who we were going to pick. I think everybody had a general idea who we would pick. You know. yeah, uh, Drew's been a topic of conversation for a lot of people like us the past few weeks. What do you think about the way he's handled all of the speculation leading up to the deadline today? Oh, I, I, you know, guys, I think when you've been in this league a few years, you understand that that's just a part of it, you know, and everybody's name is thrown out there, and uh, you know, there's a ton of guys, you know, the 30, 40 guys, have, you know, they've talked about being traded, uh, things like that, and I don't. I, I think it's just something that you don't really bother about giving any time to. Uh, if it's going to happen, it would happen, but you know, most of the guys just go about their business and not worry about it. Are there any measures you have to take to keep Zion grounded? He seems pretty naturally humble. Nah, his mom keeps him grounded. His mom and dad. We don't have to worry about that one. Trust me on that, okay? He's grounded, and he'll be grounded, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Huh? Oh, I just think he's a real personal guy. I just think he's a good guy. I, I mean, like I said, he's a great teammate. I think you talk to anybody at Duke or anywhere he's been, and he's a great teammate.